evening welcome back to the channel so been a while um, but what I thought we'd look at today is this this is a um, it's a Weber 26 IMB carb but really the carburetor itself isn't the important part here um, had a few odd running symptoms um, on the car that it was on um, there's a bit of um, hunting at idle um, it wasn't really idling particularly well there was a little bit of um, spitting or backfiring out the uh, out the carburetor which made it seem that it was it was running lean and it really really hesitated under about sort of half three quarter throttle um, which was kind of giving all of the symptoms of having either a main jet that was uh, that was clogged or um, sort of a low speed idle jet depending on your carburetor which was um, too small and uh, not allowing enough fuel in um, so because it was mounted and it was easy to do I cleaned out the main jet on here I put a slightly larger one in and put a, a new same size idle jet um, in there and still had exactly the same symptoms um, now on pulling the carburetor out <coughs> in fact before I pulled it out it did seem like it had you know the other potential which was an air leak um, now looking at it as it's out the base looks all right until you put it on something flat something flat in this particular case being a pane of glass and it is well I don't know how well that comes across on camera but it's not flat in either plane it's been warped completely due to a combination of over tightening age and heat so what we're going to look at today is how to flatten the base of a carb that has been warped and if you have similar kind of air leaks at the base or similar kind of running issues you might want to look to that um, if you've kind of exhausted everything else because often air leaks at the base are kind of disguised by gaskets and can go unnoticed or be mistaken very easily for something else. So I suppose there are a few ways in which you could do this. You could build the base flat, um, but really the easiest way on a soft um, casting like this is simply to get something flat. And as I say, a piece of glass by its very nature is, uh, is going to be flat. So I've got a bit of 240 wet and dry on there. And really all I'm going to do is move it backwards and forwards on there sanding away at the casting until I remove the warping clearly some of the petrol that's just poured out the float chamber there is going to help as a bit of lubrication now I don't really have enough hands to hold this and film at the same time so let's see if I can get this up on a tripod to watch so assuming this doesn't fall off the tripod So already we've started to get it a little bit flatter so it's really just going to be a case of more of the same so we're nearly back flat I won't bother filming the rest of it it's just going to be a case of sanding a little bit more um, but I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished now granted I could have done that a lot faster 
on a belt sander but if we look around there that is now flush to the glass and it's going to be a good one or at the very least if it's not perfect the rest of it will be taken up by the gasket um, so we shouldn't have any air leaks at the base and that should remove all of that hesitancy and uh, should sort the idle out as well so um, it's a great little little carburetors um, all I need to do before I put it back in is I'm going to remove um, this old fuel fit in here and I'll tap that for a, uh, a threaded in barbed one just so that I don't potentially end up with that pulling out in the future um, I do have a second one of these that I need to do really only took about 10 minutes or so um, and job should be a good one so um, hopefully if you've experienced anything sort of similar to that in terms of um, running faults uh, or symptoms on your car regardless of what sort of car it is what sort of carburetors you've got have a little look out for leaks at the base because they can go undiagnosed and be mistaken as I did for other flaws um, well till the next time take care